This week on Youth on the Move, we step into the rousing world of a youth-led organization with more than 845 million reasons to drive social change. Approximately 75% of the African population is under the age of 35, equating to at least 845 million young people providing our continent with incredible potential. But despite this, many circumstances continue to limit our potential. This is where the Youth Cafe comes in. My name is um, Willy Sonyango. I serve as uh, the executive director at, of the Youth Cafe, which is uh, a multi-award winning, youth-led, youth-centered organization with its headquarters here in Nairobi. The Youth Cafe's journey dates back to the year 2012, in September when uh, myself and a group of uh, 12 talented uh, young uh, experts in their own right were uh, selected by the United Nations to give uh, uh, input onto the work of the high-level panel of eminent persons at that time for post-2015 development agenda, what later on came to be known as Sustainable Development Goals. So that uh, formed the, uh, the, the basis and the multidisciplinary uh, group that was formed out of that uh, was tasked with uh, uh, proposing youth recommendations with respect to what they would want to see in the next set of global goals. Young people are a tremendous and essential asset worth investing in. For Youth Cafe, they hope to open the door to an unparalleled multiplier effect. But what exactly do they do? We are uh, a learning organization and our programming is evidence-based. So we uh, identify the gaps that exist within the, uh, the, the, the youth programming in the region and in the country with the view of proposing innovative solutions and uh, fostering a pathway in which young people can be front and center of, of development uh, agenda. Since its inception, the organization has been in the front line to ensure that talented youth of Africa are allowed to step up and play their role to foster a budding economy. But how do they intend to do so? We work with young people on universal health coverage reform with the focus on psychosocial support, uh, mental health and sexual reproductive health rights for youth. We work on arts and culture. As, as well as sports for youth, with um, a view of working with young creatives uh, and harnessing their potential to contribute to what we call the creative economy. We also have a programming around youth uh, on businesses and entrepreneurship, working with young uh, entrepreneurs as well as startups to nurture their businesses and offer startup capitals. And, um, Last but not least, we work on uh, a pillar of work related to environmental preservation and climate change, uh, bearing in mind that young people have the most abiding interest to protect the environment for the current generation and the future generation. So all these eight provide the framework under which uh, we conduct our activities. Up to date, the Youth Cafe's cumulative projects have been able to reach 2 million young people directly. However, as a purely non-profit organization, we were curious to find out some of the challenges they encounter. If you were to rank, you know, challenges on a scale, then it would be challenges related to access to opportunities and jobs, jobs, jobs. It would be challenges related to access to education and skills, and particularly quality and, and, and affordable uh, education at, high, at highest levels. It would be in relation to um, access to health that is again high quality and affordable and also youth friendly because, and youth responsive because uh, these are some of the gaps that we see. But along the way of course there are, uh, there are challenges within, within our own programming. Young people are very mobile today they are here today, tomorrow they are not there. They, are in, they have changed cities, they have changed locations. So sometimes it becomes 
a challenge to track or to have a consistent record of young people and walk the journey through with them uh, consistently because of uh, um, uh, the, 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 the age where they are in and um, uh, the locations where, you know, they are based from one point to another. They could be, you know, in a school here, but the home is different. Uh, or, or is living here, but an opportunity arises elsewhere. So that becomes a challenge in terms of um, follow-ups <coughs> because we, uh, we, as I said, we are a learning organization and we would want to follow our young people who we work with from the start to the finish. With the rising cases of unemployment, there are a lot of young people looking for such opportunities. So how does the organization select who benefits? At the height of, uh, of COVID-19, we, 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 we worked with partners to disburse, to administer the COVID relief funds for youth based in Nairobi, but from informal settlement. So in that case, it was clear from the funder, the person who is giving the funds, that the fund should um, benefit youth from informal settlements. This age, so there's eligibility criteria of being part of a, a project to another, and they differ. Uh, the only um, overriding um, um, eligibility is the age because we are, we are, we are a youth serving organization. So you have to be aged between, uh, below 35, 35 years and sometimes going up to even 15 years in some programs. But of course our definition of youth is not different from that of the constitution of uh, uh, age ranges of between 18 to 35 years. So uh, beneficiaries are project based, they are co-defined based on needs assessment, based on the negotiations we have with our own partners who uh, support those programs. Uh, but, but generally too, the Youth Cafe has ways in which young people can get involved, like, and actually do get involved. You know, with a digital reach of 1.2 million visits on our platform, we increasingly see a lot of young people seeing, finding the Youth Cafe as, uh, you know, a go-to place for information related to young people, for programs, for f finding you know uh, solutions to their problem. So we've create, created a, 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 a mechanism through which youth can get involved through membership. And up to now, we have over 147,000 registered members. These are young people who individual, individually register to be members. Then they are part of a community who you know work in in uh, in thematic groups you know they network with each other uh, they meet you know new like-minded young people as them facing same problems as them you know confronting or coming up with solutions uh, uh, like they would want to do uh, so that is the membership uh, we also have uh, a volunteering and an internship program through which young people directly benefit and our particular internship program is one of the most sought after in the country. Uh, so it's a bit competitive, but it is also a platform through which you know, young people benefit and get hands-on skills and to bridge the gap between what is learned in high institutions of learning and what is needed in the labor market. One such beneficiary is Asman Otieno, who lives in Karyobangi South. Asma tells us how he got to know of the organization and the impact it has had on his life. I'm one of the youths attached to SOS CV, so I happened to hear about it in SOS, and that is how I got to know about the Youth Cafe. The Youth Cafe's internship opportunities are highly competitive. We got the chance to hear from a young enthusiast who shares her profound experience of the organization. I'm Masha Jumwa and I'm a program associate at the Youth Cafe. Mm -hmm. And I've been here for the like, past three months. It's been amazing. I think I've done so much, like I've worked in other organizations and in this organization I've done so much in the past three months from what I've, like, there's somewhere I've worked for like six months and compared to the experience I've had here, it's very, very good. 
because you go out like you're given various tasks you don't have to focus exactly on what you've done so you can venture into everything if you want to do social media you can do you can do film if you want and then you get a vast uh, what's called a vast um, should they say experience yeah most memorable moments recently we've worked with the BPU and the US military to set up a, a mobile clinic at Kitui so like yeah we went as the youth to help the doctors in ushering in people like giving out handouts giving out sexual education to the people who come to the clinic Parting short. My last word would be for young people also to maybe share, learn the, the story of the Youth Cafe. Purely 100% youth led, uh, youth serving. This is a demonstration of the fact of, 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 of what young people can do by themselves, not waiting for assistance from third parties or from quarters that may not arise or may arise as case may determine. Africa needs motivation to deal with challenges and requires courageous people who can initiate change in the world. Till then, we have 845 million reasons to inspire change. That's it for today on Youth on the Move.